This chart shows us the results of inputs for rainwater harvesting cistern or storage calculations. The green cells on the left reflect the uh, efficiency factor, 90% in this case, uh, 150 square meters of catchment area, roof, uh, 100 square meters of garden area, and no other uses for the rainwater in this particular case. End result is 17,250 liters um, of storage space for optimizing the system. We're counting on one inch of rainfall per week. What the chart shows here is the uh, the darker, the, the bright blue is rainfall, the darker blue is uh, overflow, the blue dotted line is the volume in the tank, and the dashed gray, uh, brown line is the need and the demand in the garden. And you can see also the, uh, this, the uh, curve where most of the rain in this area, 80% comes from or comes in the winter time when we don't need it. So in the summer we need to have uh, other irrigation. This is Saanich in BC, part of Greater Victoria. One of the reasons for uh, calculating is to size uh, the storage. Here we have a uh, slightly high uh, rainfall, 16,500, slightly smaller storage because there's more rainfall. Uh, we have uh, a medium rainfall, which actually, again, is uh, slightly smaller in this case. Uh, both of these, because uh, compared to the average of the three locations of environment Canada used, they are higher in the summer than uh, the average. The low rainfall, which is in downtown Victoria, uh, Phillips Street, it needs, requires 20,500 liters. And you can see how the, the, uh, the chart is, looks basically the same, but we actually have put a number in there that is reducing the subsidy requirement to practically nil. And that's what we want to do. That's the optimum. That's where we start working from. If that's going to be too much cost this year, well, we can put in some of that this year and more of it again next year or the year later. We're looking at a drought situation now. As we have in 2015, we've reduced the summer rainfall to next to nil, which is what we experienced in, uh, in BC uh, in 2015. 42,000 liters, it really, really increases the requirement and need substantially. If we look at the, um, the uh, slope uh, of the uh, water in the tank, we see it goes down to zero. But if it goes below zero, we know we have to subsidize water from another source, either bringing water in or using municipal uh, tap water or something to water the garden. This is where we start. We can also look in this particular case at the medium, uh, high, and low versions. And the storage is exactly the same because basically, no matter what, we are having to store all the water we're using for the summer. We don't get enough rain to really make a difference. We need about 49,000 liters, we're storing 42,000 liters. And that is substantial. So in this particular case with the drought, we're storing everything, no matter where you are in this area. This is one of the services of KDA working with area businesses, homeowners, and establishing rainwater systems uh, throughout the area of uh, Lower Mainland and uh, Island.